In this module, we look at molecules that play an important role in the cell, functioning of the cell. In the series of next few modules, we look at four molecules in great detail. But first of all, let's look at the composition of the cell. The, the material that is most abund abundant in the cell is water, 70% of it. Large molecules have relatively small contribution, followed by ions and small molecules. Now let's look at these four molecules, that large molecules, what percentage or what, uh, which type of molecule is the major contributor. You'll notice in the pie chart that the most abundant molecules in the cell are the protein molecules followed by uh, uh, nucleic acids. Nucleic acids are the second most abundant mo type of molecules in the cell. Then the carbohydrates and then the lipids. We look at the structures of these molecules and we will discuss their biological role in the next few modules. But first of all, let's look at these four groups of molecules. What is the basic unit of these molecules. Proteins are made up of amino acids. We will of course look at amino acid structure in more detail later on. However, at this point, I would like to mention that amino acids have two groups, a carboxyl group and an amino acid attached to a central carbon atom. The other important group we mentioned is the nucleic acid. Nucleic acids have three different types of molecules attached to each other through covalent bonds, a phosphate group, a sugar group, a sugar molecule, and a base, a nitrogenous base. We will again, inshallah, look at this molecule in further detail sub, uh, in later, in, uh, in subsequent modules. Carbohydrates have a general formula of C H2O. You can think of these molecules as hydrated carbons, carbon atom with hydrogen and oxygen. Here we have a structure of glucose molecule. The black balls are the carbon atoms, the red are the oxygens, and blue are the hydrogen atoms. The smallest group which we saw is the lipid molecules. These molecules are hydrocarbons attached to a glycerol molecule through an ester linkage. We will discuss all these terms uh, subsequently. But here at this stage, I just wanted you to be familiar with the basic structure of the building blocks which, which make these larger macromolecules. Let's discuss how these smaller building blocks form larger molecules. Larger molecules are also called the polymers. Polymers basically means something with many, many units. Monomer means single unit. In cell, majority of the large molecules, almost all these molecules, large molecules, are actually polymers. They are made up of smaller units. Just as our houses are made of bricks, these larger molecules are made up of smaller units. We looked at uh, basic structure of some of these smaller units, amino acid, carbohydrates. We looked, at, uh, we looked at the glucose and we also looked at the basic unit of DNA and also lipid. These monomers, they form polymers by forming covalent bonds between them. We look at these structures in more detail later on. The process that joins these two monomers together is called condensation. Condensation, as a result of condensation, a water molecule is removed. The reverse of it, of condensation, is of course hydrolysis. We will look at this, pro this, this process in more detail. Condensation, monomers, two monomers, they come together, a water molecule is lost and a 
covalent bond is formed between these two monomers. Reverse is hydrolysis, in which a polymer, a molecule with many monomers, accepts a water. The covalent bond between these monomers breaks, water molecule is added, and one monomer is released from the polymer. 